Welcome to the Dentamax Tip of the Week. Today will be the third and last part on tips on recall. Let's say that uh, Brad Smith is a new patient and uh, we set him up with recall. So we'll go ahead and right click on his appointment and go down to view patient information. We'll want to make sure that he is set up to come back for recall. We can have him come back every six months. In this case, we have him come, coming back every three months plus a day. Go ahead and save our changes. Right click on his appointment and we will change the status to being complete. Okay, go ahead and post all of these uh, procedures over to our ledger and then of course uh, this will pop up because those are re recall type procedures with this little pop up showing um, giving us various options for him to come back in three months in this case. And Here we have our notes here at the bottom and let's say we want him to come back for a full mouth debridement and we look here at the top of the screen and the full mouth debridement procedure code is missing. Okay, what to do? How do you how do you add procedures to your little list here so you can choose them for his uh, uh, for the next visit? I'll show you how to do that. Let's go ahead and close out of the screen. We'll click on Schedule for later, and we'll go over to Setup, and we'll click on Setup Service Code, and let's go ahead and description. We'll type in Full Mouth Debridement. Okay, we'll go ahead and edit this code, and click on Recall Transaction. This is how you create that list on your recall list. So make sure that any type of procedure that you want to appear on that list has recall transactions selected. Okay, click on Save Changes. Now let's go ahead and try that again. We'll go ahead and uh, go back to our scheduler here, and here we have Brad Smith again. We'll right, we'll right click on his appointment, change his status to being complete, and this time when we post over our transactions, uh, we have this full mouth debridement as an option that we can select. To go ahead and make us add that to his next recall appointment. So we'll go ahead and schedule that now. We'll put him out three months out and we'll drag him to a date that works three months out and he has on his appointment his full mouth debridement. This concludes our tip of the week and look forward to next week.